There are several ways to use the Visix Digital Signage players here at Newman University. The easiest way for you to get information out to anybody that you are targeting is through a PowerPoint presentation. You could create a brand new slide in PowerPoint and then you would file, save as, point it to your desktop, and you're going to change the type to being a JPEG. That is a picture format. So I'm going to name this Test Visix. I'm going to save it to my desktop. Now, I'm going to be prompted, do I want to export all slides? So if there are multiple slides, you would choose all slides. Or if you just want to export this one, you just hit just this one. We go over to the desktop and we are going to find Test Visix. Double check that it launches. There we go. Now I'm going to open up a web browser. I like Google Chrome, but you can also use Internet Explorer. And I'm going to go to signage.newman.edu. And it's going to prompt me to put in my username and password. When you first get a password and username assigned to you through the Visix system, the default username is your username, your Newman username, and the password is password. When you log in for the first time, you'll be prompted to change your password. So I'm going to log in. And now I'm going to go to import up here in the left-hand corner. I'm going to name this slide test slide. And we'll keep it as a normal 4.3 ratio. And I'm going to choose that file that I just created. So I'm going to go to desktop and I'm going to look for the test Visix right here. And then I'll hit the upload button. You see, there's my test slide. And I hit next. Now, you get to change your title if you want to. The pace is how many seconds in between slides uh, until the slide will transition. So right now the default is nine seconds. That's good. If you want this to be used for a specific length of time, you can say the duration today for one week, one month, a year, three years, forever. So if we want to have this run forever, we could do that. Or you could say, I would like this to run from this day and this time to this day and this time. I'm going to do this forever. Next, you choose which profile playlist you would like it to go on. The general playlist is the most used and that's going to get you to information out to the entire population through the general playlist which is on the majority of our screens. If you have your own playlist like Newman Media, Nursing, Registrar, Admissions, they have their own playlists over here and that's what you would choose. You will only see the playlist that you have access to. So I'm going to hit done and now that slide will begin to rotate within a couple minutes.